This is the Team Objection Podcast for April 18th, 2023, episode 572. Let me know if you can hear us out there in chat land, but we're going to need you today because you can see on your screen if you're watching. Oh, wrong one. Hold on. There's one without a spot for Dave. There we go. Dave died. You can see if you're watching long. We're going back to a tier list. We haven't done this in a while. We did one. There's Doug. I see you. We did one for like Genshin Impact characters a while back with some of that crew. And I, did we do a tier list? On with like you, me, and Dave, Sean. Have we done this before with this crew? Uh yes. Once? I don't remember with what, but I remember this screen. Yeah, I I, I know we did it for something. I it all blurs together because the problem is you could do a tier list, you could do a tournament, you could do a you know we bunch of different formats. I thought tier list was better for this because tournaments are fine, but sometimes they're matchup based. And here we can just decide things on their own merit. So for the viewers, you'll see here, especially once I switch to the screen. This is what we're dealing with. Now, we're not doing all of these. I just want to be abundantly clear. But essentially what we're going to do is each of us are going to take turns nominating something that's down here on this board, and then we're going to discuss it and take the aggregate score of our group and put it up on the tier list. So it could get violent. Or we might be in agreement. I don't know. Well, so I was going to ask... Uh, yeah, I, re I haven't done this yet because I, my question is how are they tiered? Uh, like, what voting... Do we all have well, to agree, like... Well, we'll settle tier, on something. It, you know, like, if it's, you just do like a, a grade point average and kind you of, just like average like, it out where it lands. We have six tiers, S, A, B, C, D, and F. And, you know, creme de la creme is S and obviously dog shit is F. And then in between, there's some room for some negotiation. The trick that we found, especially when we did the Genshin list, is that when you're doing a group format, you have to kind of lean towards the extremes a little more. Mm. So if it's like an S, an A, and a B, that's probably an A, right? But if it's like an S and an A and a C, what do you do with that? Well, it's probably still an A because, like, it's going to skew more towards the middle. Sure. Because, you know, it just unless all of us vote something in S, it's going to be hard to get something in the highest or lowest tier. So yeah. we'll kind of use our discretion as we go, and we'll let the audience settle any ties if it gets to be close. We can get, you know, they're, they're fighting in as well. Doug says the list, when you can see all the pictures, looks like a heart attack. Yeah, I mean, there are 97 different kinds of chips on here. And I was missing some that I like. Yeah, I they actually tried to make there. my own for what it's worth. Hell, you guys, you would. You yeah. guys can see I started to collect my own series of yeah. images that Good. I wanted to use, and then I had to connect a Twitter account. It was the only way to authenticate. And it was you can use my Twitter. Forced You're me fine. to do it. It was a whole thing. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I sent this one out yesterday. We're just going to stick with it. We can make some honorable mentions at the end, but... So we're just going to go one by one. The order doesn't really matter. There's not any like rhyme or reason to it, but you're going to basically pick something off this list and we're going to go over it. We're going to get to, you know, 30 to 40 of them and then we're going to see where we stand. We can do more. Dave's not here. We That's might. talking. If we go through them, I'm not sure. I mean, there might be some, there's going to be some that weren't more discussion than others. You know, like there's going to be a couple we can probably like F, but. So I'm just going to jump out and then you tell me if this is incorrect or not. Like Cool Ranch Doritos. Mm -hmm. Going straight to chip. that, huh? Those are a chip. I don't even see them. I They're see right some in the top left. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to move them in the top left once you select them. That's an S tier. That might be the best chip in the world. No. That's like, already wrong. Because You're already so it, wrong. Is, it is sort of like this like savory, tangy, but you still get like the Dorito. Like the base Dorito is a good chip. Like it's a good consistency. Consistency has a nice crunch. And like the nacho cheese flavor, also good, but Cool Ranch is is better than that. No, it's not. Well, so yeah, what, I mean, you can't just say no, it's not, and then leave it. Like, what? Where would you put Cool Ranch Doritos? Probably like a C. It's fine. Wow, it's extremely fine. Not a big fan of Cool Ranch here, which huh? is surprising given that I like ranch as a flavor. And yeah, I you just, dip regular chips in ranch and eat them. So this I've does never it for dipped, you. How I dipped a regular chip of? I don't know if I've dipped any of these chips in ranch. Well. Ranch dip, I guess, for like ruffles. But. Here's another bonus thing you have to be aware of is um, the powder on the Doritos, especially the Cool Ranch. So you lick your fingers afterwards. That's a bonus. Sure. You know? I, as the thing is, I don't, because I'm fat and I've eaten, I think, probably the majority of these. See, it's not really necessarily bad to me. I just, and you're going to see a skew with the things I pick that go higher is I like spicy chips for the most part. Okay. So like Cool Ranch just it gets too plain to me, I think at times. And like I know what you mean like the, like the zesty yeah, type it's of zesty. flavor. Yes. It's honestly it's just like not my like flavor of choice. You cuz you're right. I will put a lot of the Doritos no Doritos going to go lower than like C cuz you're right. The chip itself is just like Yeah, it's a quality. pretty damn good chip. I think there's one Dorito that could go below C. <laughs> I don't know which one. They're regular ass tortilla chips. 
Oh, I've never eaten that. Well, I don't believe don't. Those <laughs> I'm almost surprised that they sell that because the whole thing of Doritos is like, I, we take your chip and then we make it better. We right. put a bunch of flavor powder on it. I guess it, people right? are like, well, if you want the consistency of Doritos, it's like, yeah, but you forgot to give any flavor. And I'm not talking like powdered flavor. You know, like Tostitos are a bad example because they're not great either. But like tortilla chips can still have their own flavor, kind of. Yes. Or at least something appealing about them, salt or something. But Doug mentions Cool Ranch tacos at Taco Bell. Yeah, that was a thing. And the, they've gone and, further beyond that now. And they got rid of those ones faster than they got rid of the other flavors because it wasn't as popular. That's right. I'm not yeah. using that to like shit on it more. I'm just saying it didn't survive as long as nacho cheese or even the fiery nacho one. Josh mentions the powder. And I think we might as well just tackle both Cool Ranch and nacho cheese while we're here. Because okay. this is always the debate, right? It's these two. Yeah. There are other flavors. There are other good flavors There's of Doritos. Flavor but that I like better than both. These two are always pitted against each other, right? Like These are the two that are the figureheads for Doritos. I have nacho cheese above Cool Ranch. I like both. So it's not like you know S and D. It's like S and A for me. I think nacho cheese is one of those like... Look, you can have all sorts of different metrics for how you rank these, and some of that is even going to come down to, like, some chips are better when paired with dips, so you do you grade them on their yeah. own or how they are as a... That's know. true. So all of that's going to factor in this. For me, an S tier is going to be something that I can eat a half a bag of without realizing it. That's fair. And there's only going to be a few of those on this list. I've got, like, four. Nacho cheese is one of them. Cool Ranch is not, but I'd have Cool Ranch as an A. Okay. I think you've talked me into putting Cool Ranch as a B because I actually think that I... When paired like together against each other, I would almost prefer Cool Ranch because spoiler, the one I like the most is the spicy nacho one, which is the dark red bag. This is down there, yeah. Which I is, think I prefer that one to the nacho cheese. To by nacho far. cheese because there's a little bit of heat. Yes, there's yeah. a little bit more of a flavor. I think that the the nacho cheese one tastes super artificial and just like kind of plain, and the spicy nacho one tastes more to me like what nachos would kind of taste like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and so mm-hmm. like that is that is one of my f- absolute favorite chips. Like I would put the the spicy nacho one. As an S, because I will eat a half a bag of them, and they'll just be gone. Yeah. I'm also one of the only people I know that actually likes those or prefers them. I got very excited when Sam's Club started selling a giant bag of those, and not <laughs> only just their regular two flavors. Yeah, it's tough, because I think if I'm having one chip, I'd prefer the spicy nacho ones, but then I'm I'm tired of those quicker than I am the regular ones. So if I'm eating them in bulk... There's too much flavor to I them. don't want... Yeah, the, 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 of course. I, I just get overwhelmed by the flavor. But no, more so it's the aftertaste than it is anything else. Um, this is tricky because it's hard to like. These are both sounding like they're ending up in A. It looks like A. We don't have unanimous, so and I think we fair. have to do it like technically. You put these in order, and I think because the two of us had that a little higher, it'd be that order. No, but I they're... think Cool Ranch is better than the regular nacho. Oh, do you? Okay, yeah. well then we'll. we'll if do I have it, to, we'll if I had to pick way. one or the other, because I I just think that the spicy <laughs> nacho is so much better. All right. Well, we'll get the spicy nacho. You can nominate that yourself if you want next, but. We'll put those two in A for now. We can always move things around later, too. It's not like, well, we put it in A. That's it. It's all over. Because we can always adjust if we can kind of see how things are going. So for what it's worth, Doug had B. Josh had A. I think these were both on. Well, I think Doug's was on on Cool Ranch and Josh's was on Nacho Cheese. But sort of in lockstep with us there. Um, Cody, you pick one because Sean picked one. Yeah. Hmm. Let me go down here and to chip a palooza. Let's get weird. Well, not weird. Um, I would like to nominate the Garden Salsa Sun Chips. Okay. Down oh, here. oh, that's okay. Garden Salsa. Oh, no, it's not. That's not Garden Salsa. There's the red one. There we go. To be fair, Garden Garden Salsa should probably be in a green bag. Probably. <laughs> Anyways, um, they made this one, I believe, much later than the blue bag, green bag, or than the cheddar bag, and this one is so much fucking better than those other three because for the same exact reason of what I just said with the spicy nacho one there's actually like a good hit of like spice to these ones and I also think that sun chips hold up really really well just as a chip itself I'm glad you brought up sun chips because I agree with you I just never buy them because they're always way more expensive they never go on sale like every other one of these chips do there's a period of time where uh the you know this one's okay the the cheese sun is chip also really good. was my favorite chip I think in the world for 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 a good long period of time. I, I again I would probably put the the cheddar one into like A, and if I would I would like want the garden one to be A or S. Well, mm-hmm. I, you brought this one up. I'm going to bring it up here as well because that was another borderline S tier for me. Okay, I think the harvest cheddar sun chips are probably my favorite healthy chip. Yeah, yeah. Because there's keep, a lot of flavor in that, and there's not a whole lot of like detriments in that I, chip. Yeah, it's still a chip, so you can't be like, "Oh, it's good for me." But you know I, what I mean. I even think the plain sun chips, which I think is the blue bag, yes, taste pretty good. I don't even know how to explain like the sun chip actual taste of what that is. 
because it's pretty different than most of these other chips for the most part. Mm-hmm. I also thought I was one of the only people that liked these coming from California because I thought these were really popular in California when I was growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, and I did not know that anyone else actually would want to eat these for whatever reason. Doug has Garden Salsa and S Harvest Cheddar and A. That does kind of seem like that's, where we're going to end that's up what on I, this. I agree with Doug on that. Because I like the Garden Salsa ones. I don't have them as high as Cheddar in my book, but I am a I like cheese on chips. We're going to see that in a few different ones coming up here. So like... You mean like the, almost half of these? Like, kind of, yeah. I mean, it's a good combination. <laughs> it makes sense, right? So like, I, 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 even though I don't like Garden Salsa as much as most, I'm fine if it ends up in S for Salsa. Again, if I get it, it's S to me, but if it's, it's A, no. then like that's fine. I vote not S. But that's just one vote. So if you both have an S and I don't, then well, I he think he was mostly it... conceding it. So I think it lands in A. Everything's going to be an A. Everything's an A. Okay. Sun chips, A. <laughs> Again, I brought. The, I wanted to bring this one up, and I don't know what everyone thinks Sun of chips. the other two. A. But it's going to be a great tier list when they're all in A. I also think that are you not? Are, would you believe that Harvest Cheddar is better than the Doritos ones? Um, I mean, again, it's the group uh, you, thing. Well, I wouldn't have organized. Cool Ranch like, above this. I think this, the so. cheese Sun Chips are better than Doritos Eat Nacho it. Cheese. But you still but have not, Cool Ranch oh, as the number one. It's eight. my best chip. Yeah, that's my best chip. We're not going to suss about too much in the okay. order of the tiers right now. So let's do something like, uh, okay, like Fritos. Fritos are like a popular chip, right? Do you want to bring up a dog shit one? Is that what you're trying to do? Yeah, well, I'm just saying maybe not like if all this is is... Oh, here's all the chips we like, and we have 15 oh, no, I was, bags I, in A tier. I was trying to be positive for once to start. <laughs> I will be negative because there's a lot of things I can be negative about on here. There's the Fritos. Well, let's talk about Fritos then. How do you like Fritos? Uh, I feel like Chris and I have a hilarious like thought process with the chili cheese ones. Given that our former okay. boss ate these out of our vending machine like on a regular basis. Even after his doctor told him not to. Not to do it anymore. Yeah. So to some people, they must be very, very good because he would not stop eating them after being told to stop eating them. I don't like Fritos. Uh, if I'm going to have one, so a, first off, the flavor twists are horrendously bad. I haven't, well, I, no, I haven't had those. I was forced to eat them because they are sometimes in the variety boxes you get. I don't know why I would want to pair honey barbecue with corn. It's bad. Yeah. It's so bad. Uh, regular Fritos are useless unless they are dipped in something. And even then, they're almost still pretty useless. The only thing that's good is if you, well, I guess these, none of these are them, the scoop version of the Fritos. At least holds up, so you can dip pretty well with it. Yeah, because at the end of the day, oh, I think that gives you that was are different from Fritos. They're the yeah. identical flavor, so you can give it like a slight adjustment based on that. But still, it's the only way Fritos are tolerable. Exactly, is to dip them in it's like the, ranch or something. And you can't dip the little regular curly plain flavored ones. They just they fall, they break every single time. Right. Free, I mean, Fritos really seem like their purpose now in the world is to be put into like Taco Bell shit. I think Taco Bell uses them. Yeah. Or in like chick- the Frito pies, where it's just ground beef, and they just they just get soggy in it. And then I'm like, why are yeah. you doing that? They're I do to- like fresh Fritos on the hot dog chili, the chili cheese, chili dog, cheese dog at Sonic. So I'm saying they, they are a to- like, they're a topping rather than a chip. Yeah, we keep finding ways to make them tolerable. I think that's a bad sign, and I don't <laughs> like that they're like soft. You know, they're kind of like soft. They get mushy pretty quick. Well, they do, but yeah. like. They're not as like hard as like some of the other. No. They kind of give a little bit. That's what bit. I'm saying. Like the boat scoop one is the only way I can be like this is a useful. When we get item. to Cheetos, that's going to be an even worse problem where it's like fresh opened bag is perfect because the Fritos are really crisp then. They're not. But like you said, it doesn't take long for them to turn. No. So I don't think it's an F tier. I think that's too harsh, even though it is F for Fritos. I think that the regular I, one, and oh, I guess it's top off. The chili cheese one is the better of the, the best of those three. Actually, I take that back. I'm putting this in F. It's bad. It's this, so bad. This shouldn't exist. Not only that, they're corkscrew, and so the the way the consistency of eating a corkscrewed chip is just it doesn't really so make much bizarre. sense. Like it's a fun sh- shape on its surface, and you're like, well, this is meant more for pasta than it is for chips. Yeah. And again, since they break when you dip them, they're not really good for retaining dip. Like you'd no. think that would be the point of the shape, but I would go like F and then D and then better D. I don't know. I would say C. I would say regular Fritos is a C, but that's just my vote. So like everybody else has D, so we're gonna end up D? in D on it. All right. Including, like Josh, I think said it perfectly, which is just like it, unless you dip them in something, they're horrible. Like I, I would eat like five or or with the or with the hot dogs you mentioned, but by themselves, I'm gonna eat like four or five Fritos and be like, all right, yeah, you bring because I think I've had I've had them on a hot dog at like a baseball game, and I was yeah. like, oh, this is like kind of a cool thing to add to it, I suppose. Let's bring up Chex Mix then, because okay. very unique. If you have a chip that I have to sort through to only find the two or three of the however many different things are in there, that's like I think that's a bad sign. 
So my problem is I don't really like plain Chex Mix. If you give me the bold one, which is the black bag, or the cheddar one, again, because cheese is good, those are pretty good. Regular Chex Mix is just super plain and dry. Yeah. The dry is the problem. It's so dry. And it's like it's the worst form of everything that's in it. Yeah, and you can't really dip it. No, because it's a variety bag anyway. Now, sometimes Chex Mix mixed with like chocolate or like that version, that actually can be kind of good because well, you're, well, you're just you're savory. Just, you, well, then you're just talking about like Muddy basically, Buddies, that's, basically. Or, exactly. or just Trail yes. Mix. Or Trail Mix yeah. Yeah. or just Chex itself when it's created into something. Yep. Yeah, I know people who like this quite a bit. I was going to avoid being too harsh on it because I'm not a fan whatsoever, but if we're this negative, it feels like that's going to end up in F. I mean, it's like D to me. At least the regular one. I think the only thing that helps it is when I do eat it, I get stuck eating it. I'm like, all right, well, now I'm just eating a bunch of this, and I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, like if I'm going to be wasting calories on stuff like this, I want to be enjoying it, right? And not just filling my stomach for no reason at this point in my life. I can put it in D. I think... We'll see what ends up happening in F tier. I like the one we have there so far. <laughs> Chex Mix might go down there. We'll see. I have another one to nominate that's similar to this one. Okay. Where are the munchies at? There they are. Uh, by the pop chips and the mission tortilla chips. Munchies. Yes. Got it. I've never even heard of these. So munchies are Cheetos, Doritos, pretzels, and Sun Chips all mixed together. It's just a ver- it's like that Chex seems mix. like cheating. <laughs> it is cheating a little bit. I don't actually when I saw it on this list, I was like, that's kind of weird. Okay. And you can also get the there's a spicy version of it, which is like a hot Cheeto. It's the spicy Dorito. I think it's the garden salsa, sun chip, and then regular pretzels. And the spicy one is again way superior to this one. But these are weirdly very good because if we're gonna if we're gonna get to Cheetos, I can't eat that many of a regular Cheeto before it's like really fake cheese powder tasting. But it has the good version of like a good version of a sun chip and a good Dorito and then pretzels all mixed together. Okay. It's like basically because again, if Chex, what's, what do you like the most in Chex mix? Do you like a pretzel out of it? Yeah, kinda, no, I'm kind of a pretzel guy. I think the cereal. So the Chex itself, which you should just eat a bag of, ce- of Chex cereal. Then. Yeah, probably. Like Munchies is like worst part of it is to me Chex is like best part because if I want pretzel, I'm I'm gonna eat a bunch of the pretzels out of the Chex mix and that's kind of the worst thing that's in these Munchies. It is like the epitome of just being in the C thing or B because it's just a mixture of a bunch of stuff that's probably going to rank right around there. I kind of like the, temp- the the ketchup, the dried ketchup things in the Chex Mix. And I don't really like those, but the dried at least ketchup? But it, that, maybe that was the joke when I was like, there's when a we breadstick and there's two like circle bread things and Chex and a pretzel. That's what's in there. The, then the joke growing up was it was ketchup dried ketchup in a circle so i think you mean the rye bread thing that's maybe brown that's it maybe that's it mix. but at least it was like unique even I though it, i didn't like it I it was like at least i'm i'm experiencing something i was feeling something i think you know he's talking about part of me is like <laughs> this would be good to put out at parties i guess because people can kind of pick at it for what they want and it's got a better blend than Chex Mix. The Sun Chips are also miniature, by the way. They're not a full-size Sun Chip. No, and the like Doritos that. are also min- they're miniature triangles. No, I don't like that. Yeah, so, I Just mean, so you know. can so I'm going like to leave B. this in C. They can't be, like, above... No, they can't be above other things that are the better component yeah. of what it is. That's what I I'll just put it in B for now. I just thought it was very funny that it was on this list in the first place because it... Like, Chex Mix at least is a mixture of stuff, but it's unique. That is a mixture of things that are literally on the list anyway. Yeah. Are you going regular Cheeto? No, I think I haven't nominated anything yet. Yeah. I think it's time to get to Lay's. Okay. All so of the Lay's. we'll bring the three Lay's up here. The three, the three main ones. I guess salt and vinegar applies to. We'll bring those four. Because I know there's more down here, and if you want to talk about any of those, that's fine. But like these are kind of the four tried and trues. This is classic barbecue, sour cream and onion, and salt and vinegar. Um, I think Lay's are trash. Uh, uh <laughs> not F tier you know- trash. But, like, they're too thin. I don't get a lot of satisfaction out of even most of them. The barbecue and sour cream and onion are better. I know some people really like salt and vinegar. I'm not a big vinegar guy, but I'm not going to punish them for that. But in general, I don't like the shape and consistency of the Lay's chip compared to a lot of the other ones we have on this list. I honestly think Lay's chips are A tier for me. Um, Not S tier, which I was voting the Cool Ranch. But um, barbecue uh, and vinegar, maybe I'll say they're B. And then sour cream and onion is an A. I love sour you, cream and the onion. The regular Lay's that aren't baked and aren't stacked together, which are the better versions of this The chip. regular Lay's are like a C. So CBA is is how I'm viewing 
I Lays. I do as crappy as the chip itself is. The sour cream and onion lays are really fucking good. Yeah, they, they that is the flavor that I think I grew up liking the most, like more than even any of the cheese stuff and spicy stuff before a lot of those came out. And so I think there's like nostalgia related to the sour cream and onion that would make me want to rank it pretty high. I think the problem is I'd rather have sour cream and onion ruffles. Wasn't sour cream and cheddar ruffles? They have sour no, cream there's and onion both. Too? There's I don't both. think I even knew that. See, the ruffles are good for dipping, but the lays are good. Bites. Except for regular lays, which are fine for dipping, but I love like the flavored lays. I would put regular lays in D. But oh, damn. I would put regular lays in C, I think, like Sean said. We seem to have C in the chat as well. Well, we have an F, but <laughs> And then I I would go You're Sean, what did you B say for was barbecue? B with barbecue? The uh well, I said huh? C- A for sour yeah, cream. Yeah, 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 yeah. Barbecue and uh and 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 vinegar. Salt and vinegar. I have no opinion on vinegar. I just don't like vinegar chips, so like yeah, I, don't I don't know either. if they're good so or bad. I'll I let just, them rock and be. I just don't like the flavor. Yeah, that's that's a me thing. Some people like salt and vinegar quite a bit. It does make sense as a combination. It's just not my jam. Do you want to branch off to the infinite other lays that are? I mean, we there? could while we're here, because um, I can easily say that I have discovered as I've been. I use these or I bought them when I was traveling all the time. Is the stacked sour cream and onion lays in the middle there? are better than the regular sour cream and onion bag because they don't break and crumble into tiny little pieces. And I also think these are better than Pringles. I recently discovered. Mm. Well, Which we is probably going to be a hot take. But we haven't gotten to Pringles I yet. I know. So I don't know. Do you want to keep the canned ones all up against each other, basically? We probably should wait on those, okay. yeah. Because there's also all the Lay's we didn't touch. So, Well, there's superior Lay's down there. Well, I told you to bring one up if you wanted to. No, it's Sean's turn. Um, let's bring up uh, Cheetos. By the way, here are the Doritos tortilla chips. I'm putting them in F. Not not below the Fritos. Aren't those though. taco flavored? Uh, I always thought those were taco flavored and well, not regular. Well, I think they have. Well, I think those are, but they also have regular ass. So I guess these are the taco ones, but they also have regular ass tortilla chips. I would vote like C because they're still tortilla chips. Cody, yeah, what's here. your what's your vote on? Well, I've eaten those because I think I thought those were taco flavored, and those are like C. They're they're fine. They're just okay. Yeah, All right. All right. There you go. Um, I just didn't, that's why I was like, I, if those are the actual tortilla ones and I have been misunderstanding what I've eaten in the past. All right. Anyway, sorry. I, I took your, your thunder, Sean. Um, uh, I, uh, let's which go Cheeto? Cheetos. Which Cheetos? I only They're have had two already. types of Cheetos. The fire hot, which I think is like F. I really don't like them. Wow. I don't know why. Wow. I think it's cause they've been putting so much other shit. No. And it's like, oh. now you can get like this taco, but we put the flame in hot over it. I'm like, no. Oh, that's disgusting. Regular Cheetos are pretty solid. They're like a B. The, I, typically, I don't like like the soft. Oh, what do you call that? Like the, the puffs version of the these? puffs. Puffs in general, I don't like because um, the regular Cheetos a little harder than the puff version. But they're all like sort of like different types of puff, and I don't like it. Also, they're, they're like airy. not chips almost they're in a airy. way. They're like, yeah. What even is that? That's not a chip. I mean, it's a weird cheese stick. Yeah. I mean, there's a yeah. lot of different definitions on here. Like Takis, I think, are on this list, and yes. that's probably not a chip either. Some of them even brought in like some of the Cheez-Its, and we're starting to get in really muddy territory then. But anyways, we'll rank them anyway. I mean, it's kind of like half snack food, half chips. Um, I don't really like crunchy Cheetos. No, I don't um, either. I actually am impressed that when they discovered that they should put fire hotness on them, they made their original thing so much better. Than what it was, including, well, again, it's probably the California in me is the Cheetos Fire Hot with Lime are also incredibly good. Doug had those in S. Oh, good job, Doug. I'm not a big Lime guy, so I'm not really going to be doing that. I've never had them. I've never had them. To me, because so what people did a lot when in California was you take the hot bag you and then you squirt lime juice on it. That was a thing for a long time. You would get them from like Mexican ice cream trucks or Mexican snack trucks, and they would go through the neighborhood, and that's what everyone would run and get is a bag of hot Cheetos and you'd squirt lime or lemon juice all over it and it would so much better than the regular Cheeto. I think puffs are better than the regular Cheetos, but mm. I've soured on those over the years too. I, I especially don't like puffs. They're just like, they're so and, soft. And the, the flaming hot version of the puffs is also pretty bad. It doesn't do very well with the flavor powderness. I'm like a big texture person. And the puffs, if, yeah, you're kind of either really, you might be really against it or like really yeah. full. That's why you got to make sure you keep the puffs sealed. Because there the is one... crunch to them as yeah. long as they haven't been left open. But you leave them open even once, that and is... now they're just going to be kind of like... Bleh. One of the grossest things is one of my friends growing up actually preferred the puffs when they were starting to go stale and would not want them when you just freshly opened them. 
but would eat, would eat them after they had been like kind of starting to get the mushy softness and it was disgusting and it was the easiest way to get rid of those chips when you no longer wanted them. I will say as dumb as it is, I would put the twisted puffs in a slightly higher tier than the regular puffs. It doesn't even make a fundamental difference. It tastes almost exactly the same. I don't know what well, it is about like it. Cor- now you like corkscrews? Well, I'm not dipping these. Why the fuck would you dip Cheetos? <laughs> so I don't care about that aspect. And the fact that it, maybe it's because I can now reach into that bag once and get like two bites worth. So I'm not having to get my hands as dirty. It's a utilitarian thing, but I would have them slightly above regular I mean, puffs. Yeah, this is the grossest thing for your hands is anything Cheeto related. Yeah, They're all whether the it's the puffs or not, it's all just... And look, at the end of the day, sometimes it's more about like what the powder is than the vehicle that it's on. We kind of like, you know, with the Lay's, we mentioned the sour cream and onion. Yeah. The the flavor of those is great. I just don't like the chip they're on. So that's kind of similar here, I guess. Can we can we have a um, a bad vote and talk about Funyuns? We can um, once we put Cheetos in the tier list. Excuse yeah. me? What? Okay, well, let's put Cheetos what? in the tier list. So uh, the only one I vote like for A is regular Cheetos. Every, everything else, I don't care. Uh, it, it is lower, like C. Like, they're fine. That's my vote for I Cheetos. I think regular so. Cheetos is like C or B, because I don't really like so them. So it sounds like Cheetos are just going to get fucked here. <laughs> Cheetos are going to go in B. B. Um, I would put Puffs in C. Yeah. That's disappointing. The idea of having them in the Fritos tier seems weird to me. Well, they're, they're, they should be with the Cheetos tier. In B? The puff, yeah, puff Cheetos are better than regular Cheetos. Well, I think so too. So I'm fine with it in B. Yes, that's where those should go. I'll put it above Crunchy. Then, I've never we both eaten like these better. twisted puffs, which I've never even seen in a store before. I don't think they're different. And I, I don't even know where where you find them anymore. I remember them from when I was a kid. I'm gonna put them above puffs because I think they're slightly better. But I'm still gonna put them behind all this. Um, so the jalapeno cheese Cheetos, which doesn't really matter, just because I want to add them. That's also an F. Which one is that? The this, green Cheeto. This one. one here. That one is one of the worst tasting things. Okay, I'm happy I've to put it there. Had. Happy to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, just wanted to throw that out there. I um, don't know what the Cheetos with the light blue is. I've never seen that. I before. don't know what that is either. It looks I, like it says Chipotle Ranch. Haven't had them. That sounds disgusting. I don't know what this is. It's the com- extreme hot. Okay, and so it's also more than not, flaming hot. It's not very good. I'm not going to rank it. I haven't had it. That's fine. Okay. Flaming hot. The, I haven't had the ones with lime. I heard they're good. Those are very good. So I'm happy to put those up in A because we have a couple people in chat who like them as well. That's where they should go. Okay. And also, like, I don't know why. Uh, I A, I vote not A. Here's why. I, I, you know, I haven't had those particular ones. But the Cheetos are too messy. So I talked about the powder and, like, the Doritos really liking it. Cheetos is, like, too much. You ha- It gets kicked on. They almost want me to get those, like, finger uh, chopstick things that they, that they have. Have I mean, you that, seen those? Yeah, mm-hmm. I have not. Oh, but okay. That is my biggest. Like, while I like spi- like the fi- like spicy Cheetos a lot, it is the biggest problem is that they're a disaster yeah. to eat. Yeah, truly. Whether it's cheese or spicy or pu- like, it doesn't matter. They're all a disaster to eat. Yeah. I believe the other flame and hot Cheetos can go right where where the lime ones are. They're pretty similar. The lime ones are just slightly better, and the flame and hot puffs are gross. I'm on the wrong window. There we go. Uh, let's see. That's the correct one. You want this up here? Yeah. Okay. And the puffs are bad. And the we might eventually ones. redisperse this, but we'll see. Because like I'm feeling like some of these need to go into S. Probably. Well, Even we'll though be... these are on the lower end of the A, I don't feel like these belong well, in the same the, category. The, the, the as sun these. chips are going to go up to S. And you know what? I'm just going to do it right now. We can always adjust again later. I think these four belong Probably. in the top. Nice. I love that. That sure. way, I feel less bad about these being an A. Okay. Those are all definitely um, better than the ones below. What is this here? Flaming hot what? Puffs. Oh, not no th- good. Not no, that good. No thanks. I mean, they don't. Do, they're not terrible, obviously. But they're not that good. Yeah, I don't. I, I'm gonna put them there. Right. Let's see. I gotta say, with butter for the people who are not visual. And I believe the super spicy ones are gross, and I've never heard of these. I'm just ones. gonna put them in F. <laughs> That's fine. You know, if you want to eat an extreme chip, just do that other chip thing, the challenge, and then you know, suffer. And we're not even gonna rank these because no one's ever had them, and who cares? I've never seen them in my life. All right, you want to do funyuns? <sighs> yeah, funyuns are trash. Um, mm. it, the there weird texture is only um, like trumped in a bad way by the horrible flavor. They're not a horrible flavor. It's like a bad flavor. It's a bad name. They are. Am de- I eating an onion? That It's not fun. It's not fun. They are delicious <laughs> to put on sandwiches. You have a I nice think- turkey sandwich and you want more flavor to it. You put a Funyuns, in, Funyuns into that sandwich. This is not quite enough to bring Lay's to a B for me. But that is a great use of regular classic Lay's. Lay's. Is to yes. put on sandwiches. Not Funyuns. 
unless you want your sandwich to be bad. If you're like well, making if, someone you don't like a if sandwich, you like fake and you onion wanna... flavor on your sandwich, then that's perfectly exactly what you should put on. Yeah, there. or you can put like a real onion and have it be good. Well, maybe you don't have real onions available. You have a bag of funyuns that was given to you with your sandwich. <laughs> Anyways, the, my as much as I like the Cody's flavor, like, okay, wait, imagine, <laughs> imagine you're in a prison cell. No, imagine <laughs> you were given food at like a summer camp when you were a kid, and this is an exact situation, and this is the chip you were given. I mean, sure, but I probably feel that way about like any of the ones. Chex Mix on my sandwich? I guess this, I'm a young, dumb, hungry this, kid. This is a <laughs> really unique problem, I think, to all these chips is <laughs> Funyuns are so inconsistent because one will come out and it will be a tiny little super rock hard crunchy ring because it was like too thin and got overcooked. And then one will be a big puffy circle that you is too big to put in your mouth and even eat unless you break it in half. And then there's sometimes there's like a perfect actual Funyun in the bag. I think it's the inconsistency that gets me, though, because like you yeah, said, you never, you never really know what you're getting when you reach in there. So, like at their best, I would be somewhere around where Doug is, like an A. But I don't get Funyuns at their best more often than the, not. Yes. So it's more like a low B, high C. Funyuns to me. on a burger. That see, I have never tried that. That sounds like a good idea. It would make sense. I mean, onions can be good on a burger, so I could see it. You get the crispiness. Um, since you brought them up, the flaming hot onions, that is the worst use of the flaming hot creation of powder Yeah, they I, made. I tried those once thinking it would be good, but Funyuns are kind of have a weird sweet like tang again to them. Yeah. And that does not work with the fiery hot powder. Uh, no. I would. I, I don't know if I want to put that in F, but I think it's definitely in D. Because I'm like, I'm like the two. I think it's an I'm F like because it's not it's not as good as Chex Mix. I'll put it at the highest F because I'm kind of like for Flamin because I'm and Funyuns because I'm like why, why you know not everything needs to be you know we they, don't need we don't need Flamin Hot Ruffles okay there's yeah. certain things that don't need to be Flamin Hot. There are Flamin Hot Lays. I think it's the, I think it might be is that down sense. here. Yeah, it's right there. It's the red bag next to ketchup, up, uh, up one level to the right. Oh, way over here. Oh, yeah. got the ketchup one there. There's Flamin yeah, so hot. you know what they're gonna go down here too. <laughs> So don't need flaming hot lays. There's no reason to combine those. Kettle chips, the jalapeno ones, and the salt and vinegar ones are borderline S tier for me. Well, which brand? Because there's like eight different brands of kettle chips. Well, these are uh, kettles specifically. Like, like there are the lays kettles as well. But yes. let's start with kettle brand because I think they're the best. Yes. Ooh, Miss Vicky's is better. Well, mm. you know, at some point they all sort of like well, start blending together. The problem for me with Miss Vicky's is I don't like their flavors as much. I yeah. think as a chip. But like salt and vinegar and jalapeno are the two we have here, and those are two of my least favorite flavors on a chip. See, the That's kettle right. chips, they're really hard. They're better. And they're these are so good with sandwiches. Yeah, and crunchy and like really greasy, which if you're like eating for health is maybe you don't want, but I love it. And then just like the flavor's so good. This is the – it, uh, Chris, this does not happen with me a lot. Those are examples of like I can eat the whole bag in one sitting and like not even realize I've done it. My, f I have two favorite flavors of these that aren't on here. They were on some other lists. I was starting to collect those. Like I said, couldn't. It just took too much time. There's but salt and pepper one. The sea salt and pepper one with the ridges. It's yeah, it's ridged. Right. Probably my favorite. They also now have a parmesan garlic one that I like quite a bit. That figures. Um, yeah, yeah, it's kind of my my thing. Uh, I do not mind putting at least one of these up in S though. The problem is neither me nor Cody like vinegar. So I mean, uh, the kettle's jalapeno chips are one of the the chips that I can eat. Basically nonstop, and I will finish the. Well, then let's bag. put that up in S. Those even are though, really, even though really I don't good. care for them. I I can bear the two those, of you do. Though the well, he doesn't. Oh, he did he like the jalapeno ones? Was that the, was that one of the two you said? Sean? said the jalapeno and, and the salt and vinegar. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. So I'm gonna put salt and vinegar in A. I also see. I look at the Miss Vicky's jalapeno. So what, I'll I, even do it. The this. kettle jalapeno as mm. more or less the same thing. I think both of them are extremely extremely good. Those are the um, ones that I go with. Again, I don't I mean you're right because Miss Vicky's doesn't have barbecue or reg regular on there. I'll tell you what. I'll put sea salt in A because I think it's a solid chip. But I'll put it at the bottom of A. It is, it is the best regular plain potato chip that I think exists. Kind of, yeah. I can also see that top of B, but I'll put it in A for now to kind of balance things out a little more. I got to be honest. I didn't care for their barbecue chips. I'm not a huge barbecue guy in general. If I had to pick I, one, I would go Lay's. I there, didn't really love the kettle chip and barbecue. Isn't there a different barbecue? I don't know that I've had with it. them. I uh, thought it was a different barbecue. They have like 15 flavors now, so it's certainly possible. And then pepperoncini, I haven't had. So I'm in. I, I'm ready to go to a new chip. Okay, we haven't sorted out these yet, <laughs> but sure. I'll put. I like that you're just like trying to keep up with like me uh, jumping around, which is like not. It's kind of a I'll metaphor for there. our entire friendship. 
Pepperoni cheese, I can't even rate. I haven't had them. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, anybody, I don't know. Has anybody had those? Um, <laughs> because we can just leave them down I here. Have, did that I have with. been tempted to try them on multiple occasions, but I've never really had a situation. We never even good. finished Funyuns because you all are fucking ADHD They're B. right now. No, Where? You're B. You're B. B. I am. It's B. I, I'm D. I, I don't know what I would put in F. It would have to be something that I find completely inedible. We but... had some fans for. I'll put them in C. Towards the front, because we have some people in chat that put them pretty high. I'm sort of mid on them. Um. Yeah. So I'm gonna there put is, them in, in C. Kettle has what the difference. Kettle has bourbon barbecue also. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. I don't know. I don't remember which one I had. I think it was backyard, but it was a while ago. I, backyard is the typical one. I didn't like it a ton either. It's, it's with. which is why I sought out a, the different other flavor. So okay. okay. I'm well. Okay, go ahead. I'm in a good mood because the Suns just tied the game. So I want to <laughs> go with. Well, they were losing by one, and they were the worst team ever. Yes. <laughs> uh, Pringles. Because okay. I do like Pringles. I think they have potential to go pretty we have, high. We have a lot to sort through here. I'll just move them all up. We can decide which ones we want to go through. I have Pringles, not had all of these. Uniquely, um, this might be the only chip where I feel this way about it. My favorite might be the just basic classic old Pringles. I just love it. And th- that's another example. I just eat the whole thing. I don't care. Well, that's kind of the, you know, once you pop, the fun don't stop. It's, yes. sort of, it's sort of in there. And by proxy, if we're going to do these, I might as well move up the stacks because it's sort of the same, different, but same conversation, right? It's tube chips. They kind of have their own category. <laughs> um, I am torn because I actually think I have soured a bit on regular Pringles because they brought back the wavy ones that are also here. I think that added thickness and texture and I'm, because of the ridges, it holds a little bit more salt goes a long way for me to where I kind of have Pringles lower than I would have 10 years ago. Not that I'm saying they're bad, but like wavy Pringles for me are like A tier, and I would probably have regular Pringles in like B or C. And see, that's what I thought that the new Lay's Stacks ones like are thicker and hold up better than the original Pringles did. I don't know about the wavy ones because I've actually never eaten those to know how much like better they are. Well, up. Nick says um, Rhett and Link would have samples available for live testing. Well, I actually got this idea for this tier list from a different online set of streamers, but it was the same idea. They had like 35 bags of chips, <laughs> and we're eating suck. two or three out of them. Pringles so just for, for some people, I understand it, because Pringles are almost too homogenized. In some ways, that consistency is good, right? Because in yeah. a bag of chips, you might get a whole bunch of broken-ass ones because they got smashed in transit or something, right? Whereas these are almost always the same shape, the same size, and not broken, but I also know that sometimes I feel like when I'm eating Pringles, it feels like I'm starting to eat like a potato paste. Yeah, because they really get mushed together. It's the yeah. same like repetition of that over and Which over again, again, the wavy ones help with. So I, you guys have to try those at some point because I think they're better than regular Pringles. I think my main association with Pringles is it's the one that has like, it started the weird flavor thing to me. At least I, I always thought it did versus every other, like Lay's has like, they have their little like three new weird flavors. Yeah, they have year. contests and shit to where, yeah, you're right. Because it was originally Pringles, Pringles had, had all the weird flavors like, and everybody else had like two. Yeah, because like Pringles pizza. That was like pizza Pringles, I think is one of those cans. It's on here. It's over here. Like that's what like, if I want Pringles, I'm not going to probably get the plain flavor of them. I'm going to probably get one of the weirder flavored ones or, I mean, sour cream and is not weird, but I'm not going to get I don't even think I'm going to get the cheddar ones because I'm going to go get something else that's cheese related. Yeah, I think the cheddar Pringles are good, but I'm with you. I'd rather get the cheddar and sour like, cream ruffles. I'd rather get the cheddar sun chips. Like, I yeah. don't know why I'd get cheddar Pringles. I don't know what the purple can of Pringles is. Uh, fuck. I'll, and I'll I don't know what. Find out. I don't know what like the first one is. I have a weird thing. So like when I'm eating like the kettle barbecue. chips, jalapeno, mm. I can just like I'm just like a glutton. Because they're, like, they're not spicy. Plenty. Enough. So I just suck. But like, I'm just shoving them in my mouth. I'm getting like, a, I'm like a chipmunk. My mouth is full. With Pringles, I'm very much eat one at a time. Time. Yeah. That's it. Because I think and it I turns gra- into what Chris said. If I grab two, and that's part of it. But also, the consistency is so good when you just have the one. Just that one in you, there. You just want to eat the actual yeah. chip. And if I pick up two, I'll put one back. So I just have the one chip. I'm the same way. And there are some people who would argue they want to have like four or five of these at a time. And I'm like, I don't get that. If that's yeah. your jam, sure. But yeah. I don't get that either. I'm a one at a time guy. That's a guy. big chunk of chip that you're eating. So we this. have barbecue over here on the left. That's the one that's purple. Okay. there. This purple one is uh, fried onion ring, which I can't say I've ever had. I So I can't rank it. I but we should start that. placing a few of these up here. So let's start with the regular ones, Pringles, and I guess I'll base Wavy off of that because neither of you all have had it. I don't. Yeah, Wavy's okay. I love the smooth Pringles. Do you uh, eat them? Well, I don't know how you describe right side up, but which side do you eat them on? 
the um, curved shape of your tongue side or like the opposite where like the salt they, is on the under the underneath when I when I eat it I eat it to where it matches like my mouth shape so you flip it because coming out of the can it would be like opposite the shape of your tongue if that makes sense no then I eat it however comes out of the can then. okay yeah because there's more salt on that side yeah and 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 it has to be that way if I flip it that doesn't work. <laughs> Uh, where are we putting Pringles? Regular Pringles first. Then we'll figure oh, out. God. Like, a, pizza, a for me. Pizza's going to be pretty high for me. I'm with Josh on that one. That's one of the best ones. And that's that's what I would prefer if I'm going to eat them. So, I, so I, have, I think A is good for Pringles. Um, any particular placement of it? I don't think it's top of A. Uh, I mean, Sean doesn't like the spicy ones. So probably, probably right I there. think right there. I think right yeah. after. Personally, that that's it for me. Um. Man, their marketing team is so good too because they, in the commercials they like snap. They they're so crispy too, and and like they are. I mean, they're great. I'll assert my will and put wavy lays up or wavy Pringles up there too, but I'll put them below the regular. Okay, all right. Um, are you gonna rank all of these or just most of these? I think mo- so. I haven't had a couple of these. Um, the barbecue I think is very bleh. I think it's it's worse than most of the other barbecue. I would put it like chips. D to be honest. I don't, I and mean, it's not bad, but again, there's so many better chips to eat with barbecue flavor that I don't know why I would do it with Pringles. Um, I don't know why there's they're both cheese. I don't mind. Pr- I, I I don't know if there's a bad Pringles that I've ever had. So I'm just like, eh? low C. I'm. I mean, I'm even fine with B, but if you guys don't like it, you can put C. Like, but to C. me, I I don't know. I'll if tell you what, I'll put it. I'll Pringles, put it like. But they sound good. I'll put it. Oh, whoop, Give whoop, it whoop, whoop. I don't know if I've had the barbecue. There, I'll put it there. In the but like, I have there. There. That's probably where they should go. Okay. They're fine. I'm, if those are there, I feel like cheddar needs to be in C. Because again, I, like they're not bad. They're just they, better. Those, is that wavy cheddar and regular cheddar? Is that why there's two of them? No, uh, I don't I'm know assuming. what that far left one is. It's not wavy though. There's only two wavy ones, and the other one's one of the like salsa ones I've never had. I'm gonna put cheddar below, above barbecue just because I like it a little more. But they're both in C. And then I think pizza is an S contender. But I will understand if nobody wants it to, to be that high. Um, to I, me, this is the Pringle. To me, um, so I prefer the regular. But if I would like I'm fine with putting all Pringles in A, pretty much. If <laughs> unless Cody, no, I, has he, a bad opinion, then I, 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 my opinion would be bad. Is what you're saying? No, no, <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean, your opinions are all bad. But like, if my opinion that, is bad, it's not especially bad. No, this one. because I like Chris said like. I so like because who else has a pizza flavored like type of chip? Yeah, it's very unique and specific. That's why like when I think of Pringles, that's the type of Pringle I want to eat. It's that one, maybe the sour cream and onion. I think the te- the bluish teal one is sour cream and cheddar, which is like the the ruffles that are really good. Mm. And most of those I'm gonna rank somewhere between like A and B for the most part. Well, so uh, and that's so that's what I'm saying. So if you're if you don't hate them, no. and I don't hate them, and Chris is S tier, I, I think it could be S tier. We've had another S tier in a while. If I I'll think Cool Ranch was S, I think pizza can be S. I yeah. think that's fair. All right, I'll put it at the bottom of S. Okay. Sour cream and cheddar, I'd put in B, but towards the bottom. That's what that one is, right? I'm pretty sure. I think so. Well, let's double check. Blue can of Pringles. <laughs> I would even be fine putting it at the top of B or the bottom don't, of A. I don't mean, get I confused love... with Philly cheesesteak because Philly cheesesteak also comes in blue. Well, um, it looks like the lighter blue. I think that is sour cream and cheddar. And if it's not, then that's what we want to be there. Sour so cream don't... and cheddar? I just, don't, I just don't know if it's salt and vinegar or sour higher. cream and cheddar. I, do, I personally do. I love the sour cream and cheddar and on a Pringle is a really good match. Salt that, and vin- that is salt and vinegar. Okay. Oh. They yeah. don't have the sour cream and cheddar on well, here. That's well, probably good, that's probably a That's probably a good spot for it because you guys don't like it as salt and vinegar that much. Sure. All right. I don't know if I care about the rest of these. Uh, I'm assuming one of those is sour cream and onion, and those are ooh, good. sour cream and onion should go up. Should go up where the lays. That's are. this one, I think. Yeah, that yeah. should go up in in front of the probably in front of lays. the lays. Yes. Yeah, honestly, is, I'd rather is... have that than okay. Yeah, I would agree. By the way, so yeah. I mean, I've, I've okay. made my feeling on lays shapes known. Do you want to bother with the stacks ones and drop these into like basically the exact same spots? Because again, I have the sour cream and onion stacks. I think are right in front of. What the else sour do we have? Because like we start getting into like those are just different Pringles. Let's at least right? put your favorite one up here, Cody, since yes, you please. like these. So is that sour cream and onion? Yes, easily. Okay, I'll put um here. That can go right there. How okay. about that? That Great. flavor in general is just good. So. Yeah, Great. that's kind of the thing I'm taking away from this is like that's, again, if I could like snort this like crack, that yeah. would be one of the leading candidates because I actually don't know that I want either Doritos uh, flavor 
in my nose, but sour I, cream and onion, I might. I always feel like the sour cream and onion flavor never gets overpowering, like a lot of the cheese flavors sometimes. Uh, I think that's fair. Yeah, that's an easier one for me to eat a bunch of. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go to a controversial one. Okay. Which is those, um, I don't even know what they're called, but I recognize that you're, you're almost on it, Chris, right to the left. Yeah. The popcorn Pop chips? The, yes. I actually love these, and... I've never heard of these. I'm going to give them a little bit of a bonus because the flavor's good, but they're like... Okay, I, I don't know if you can get a healthy chip on here, but like they're they're sort of like less guilt when you eat those. So you can just demolish a whole bag. They taste good. There's a pleasant powder. I think they're really good. Have you had them, Chris? I have, because you guys have had them around a bit. Yes. Um, I have not had the kettle corn kind, I don't think. I've seen it, but I've had the other two. Okay, well, Maisie, bring them up here so I can so try So there's them. a sea salt one, which is Okay. And then there's like the Cool Ranch equivalent, which is excellent. A tier for me easily. Which is the, was that on here or no? I I think it's that the, one. Is it? Is white, it? This is white cheddar. Oh, that I think that's the one. White I like. cheddar. Okay. Yeah. That was the cheddar. one I thought was the best. The sea yes. salt was fine, but it's kind of like regular Sun Chips for me, where I'm like they're okay, but I kind of need that powder flavor. Yes, it's to a help little offset the fact that it's already sort of a healthy chip. Yes. Is, is that the one that had the Breaking Bad people in the commercial for? This popcorn uh, chip I for believe a Super so. Bowl commercial? No idea. I there was one of them and I think I don't was. watch the Super Bowl, Cody. You should know this. I swear to God, Aaron Paul, I think, was like <laughs> making these like it was drugs. <laughs> I, I'm dead serious. That's Doug a was, genius commercial. Doug was insistent that this be on the list. I didn't have it in the little screenshot I took to tease the episode, but I told him, don't worry, it is. He wants all of them an S. Uh, I think that's a little <laughs> bit much. Yeah, I have wavy Pringles if you want to try those. Daisy has the worst kind, sea salt. I'll still try I want to know what the consistency yeah, hold, of Hold them up in frame. Like. This is important. There, there you go. There yeah, they are. White cheddar, you fucked up. White cheddar's the best one. You fucked up. No, you, you fucked, fucked up. up. You, you fucked, fucked up. up. <laughs> go away. <laughs> Banished. Get out. <laughs> Thank you for the samples. Now fuck off. <laughs> um, I'm sure. I mean, I've had them, but I'll have one right now. I need to try this. We'll Hold on, I'll go for one. Oh no, your finger touched it now. Uh huh. Oh, these are weird. The white cheddar one is better, but, but one of the pluses for it is it has good texture. Uh huh. Oh shit, these are really good. I prefer these to popcorn now. Oh. Wow. Which I won't weird. go that far. Well, there's no kernels that are going to get stuck All in right, your teeth so out of that. No. Here's the problem. Oh, those are really good. And so I can imagine the white cheddar ones are better because she fucked up. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Josh, yeah. if you want to try one, we're right out here. And you have, um, like, you have like a little bit of protein, no sugar, 120 calories. Like this whole bag is probably like yeah, but how expensive 900 are these calories. I mean, I Who cares? Yeah, I care. Because this is what, a four ounce bag? Because if this bag's six dollars oh, and I can, seven. And I can okay. get Cheetos for two. There's a little more heft to that. Yeah, because if I'm playing Sun Chips prices for these, I yeah, uh, see exactly. Yeah, like, I don't. Like, I don't know if I can put these in S. The problem is you got to weigh like the healthfulness. It's sort of akin to the Sun Chip conundrum, where it's like if you're just talking about raw flavor, this can't hold up to other stuff, right? right? But it's not meant to because it's meant to be a healthy alternative. Six dollars yeah. a bag. Well, what for a twelve ounce and four, well, for a twelve ounce? That's and not four fifty for a seven ounce. Because like here, I have a bag of Doritos here. And I can guarantee this is probably like nine ounces now. This is the full size bag, not a family size. Yes, nine and a quarter ounces. Okay. Look at the calories on that. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm curious I don't care. now. All right. Who cares? Calories on Doritos 150 for about 12 chips. What do you got and there? This is 120 for Sorry, double the amount though, of chips. There is a cinnamon crunch version of those. Ooh. That sounds like a fascinating thing to try. Yeah. I bet that'd be good. Not as good as the white cheddar, <laughs> but still pretty good. So my. Those are impressively good. So I the question that, is, where do we put them? Doug um, wants all of them in S. I'm not putting all no. three in S. I think the white cheddar is comfortably A because it is still a health chip. Let's be real. I should have moved these up so I can see but, the list. But Hold like on. the white cheddar, I think, is an A. I think the what, – what's that red one? That's the kettle corn one. I haven't had it. Uh, I don't know about that like one. That. Doug likes it the most, but if we haven't had it, it's going to be hard for us to put it that high. I think the sea salt's a B. The white cheddar's an A. And the other one's probably a B. I, don't know. I, don't, I mean, I don't those know. sea salt ones are better than everything I've eaten in B already. Oh, I, well, I was, was going to put it on top of B. It's already better than all that. Because A is okay. pretty rarefied air right now. Although there's a lot in it, but like. It's all pretty good stuff. Because like, I'm going to put this in A and probably like. I was thinking like here. Yeah, I mean, it's. I love them. It's really, really I good. I can't put it above the, the sour cream and onion trifecta, but there seems decent. 
And kettle corn, I'd almost rather not rank than just put in like B when none of us have had it. Oh yeah, let's just not rank it. You yeah. know, like, maybe we'll have to make a point to try it since we like the other kinds, and we'll see. But like, I'd rather not rank it for now, and then you know, because I could give it a B and just be like, eh. But what's the? There's no value behind that. Yeah. All right. Um, I wanted to bring up. So has anybody had the Hawaiian ones? I have not had these. I, have. I don't even fucking know what this I is. Have, I have had those. They're all kettle chips. Yeah. Any good? I'm not going to put them in um, there because none of us have really had them, I but I'm just not, curious. I have not tried. I, and while we're doing this, I'll just drag in Cape Cod too. Sure. I've had those also. Cape Cod, um, I think is really good. I have really ran. I bought a couple bags when they were on sale. I've only eaten them when I have gone to places that serve like lobster rolls or shrimp rolls. And that's the side you get with them. Because it's that region's brand and all that, so sure. obviously they're completely fine. I would rank them just right along with like kettle sea salt ones. I think they're pretty good. I would probably have get, them a step below. They kind of get bunched up into like folds a little bit sometimes. Sometimes so they're, they're not quite as like. That's why I, I think they're just not quite as good as these. So I'd have them high B. Uh, the Hawaiian kettle like ones here, right maybe. Here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. The Hawaiian kettle ones. I really only tried two flavors, and I think one's like a sweet onion flavor. So we have. What right. looks like. Hula Peño, because it's hula. I have not eaten that. <laughs> uh, maga hab- mango habanero. I definitely haven't eaten that shit. Sweet Maui onion. onion. That's the one. I've eaten those. God only onion. knows what these are. It sounded like you were saying maga something. I was like, oh, they got a chip flavor for that. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> Hawaii, big time on maga. <laughs> the sweet onion flavor is really kind of, it's ca- like sour cream and oniony in a way, but it doesn't, again, it's more sweet than like having a sour cream flavor to it. It's fine you if you want to try them they probably are on sale at world market because that's where i've seen them all the time i think they're finally in regular grocery stores um they're extremely fine but every other kettle chip we have ranked is better than them okay Hmm. all right i think the sweet onion one is worth trying because it's a kind of a unique flavor but that's basically all i can say all right, so we'll leave it at that. We won't rank them like looking through these you know what let's do some tostitos wait no let's 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 all right go ahead i forgot i didn't see these on the very bottom the Chester's hot fries, the very, very last one. Yeah. These are so much better than hot Cheetos. They taste different. It has a weird potato y type actual flavor because it's a stick. Okay. You would pro- I don't know if you would like them if you didn't like hot Cheetos. I can't judge them because I haven't had them. I, say, I haven't had you them. You don't have either. to rank them. I Some just, people swear by them though. I know that. Yes. You don't have to rank them since you guys have no opinion. They are better than hot Cheetos. And unfortunately they are not two dollars only anymore. They are like two fifty only. Um, but those are so much better than regular Cheetos and much more consistent because it's the same fry shape over and over and over again. Mike asks, are there any sweet potato ones here? No, I saw them in other lists, but I don't believe we have anything with sweet potato here. So you're out of luck. Um, now let's clean go. up some things real quick before we move on. So we never finished ranking the sun chips. Uh, original is like a B and the French, French onion, onion is good. Is really good. That, that's probably what the sweet onion uh, Hawaiian one kind of tastes like, but French okay. onion You think so? I would have... Um, Let's see. So we had both those in S. I don't think either of these are S. I think I'm with you with regular Sun Chips being a B because, again, healthy and good, but not, like, super flavorful. I'd have them, like, yeah. here. They, yeah, they yeah. can be a little plain. And then uh, French onion, I think, is an A. Yes, I would agree. That's, that's fair. That's where I would – Probably like a, a mid to low less, A. Hold on. I'll fix it. I don't like how French is in the title. I, but <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I'd sense. put them, like, here. I also don't like, like French Like, mid A. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. I agree. I agree. If, when again, if you're only buying them occasionally, I don't eat them very often anymore because the other two above are so much better. So okay. I will constantly eat the other ones. Instead. Yeah, we'll see if we can still go back to Nick. He was here earlier. I think he's got those S tier. I think those are his favorite sun chips. So, and then before we move on, the Nick last thing we needed to clean up disagree. was my fuck. Doritos. Yeah, yeah, your Doritos. As, my spi- the, that one right there. So you wanted spicy nacho. You know what the the which one? And salsa what, verdes are also popular. I like the salsa a lot. I to me that's A. Like that's really good. That's probably my second choice in Doritos. Really? In the Doritos really? Pantheon, yeah. And also, Flaming Hot Doritos are going down here. With the other Doritos. Again, or the, the other the, Flaming Hot. The spicy nacho ones, if Say you what, want spicy that. versions of that, then just get the fucking spicy nacho ones. You don't need the Flaming Hot ones. I think the, the Funyuns make the least sense uh, to me. The so purple the bag order. is, I think, Sweet Thai Chili. It is I haven't had good. it. I have tried it. I okay. Don't, it, I don't like it, the sound of it. Like, yeah, it did not translate well it to a chip. I thought it would, and it was bad. Sounds bad. I ate like three chips and threw the bag away. Okay. A big bag. 
You could have donated it. No, it was it was it was so bad I didn't want to subject anyone else to I'll it. Dave is here now. Chewy Cheese Fritos in the D tier is a travesty. Well, you're not being here as a travesty. Yeah, so hey, maybe when you can your, actually show up, you can hold have a your low ranking. Now the good yeah. news is almost all the flaming hots are in the F tier, so you should be excited about that. Um I Yeah, Mike's I think the the right point here. The the chili cheese are good, but they also taste the saltiest of any chip. Yeah, that's the same reason that our former boss was told to cut down on them because exactly. they are extremely high in sodium. Um I believe both of these are A. Because the Doritos. The Doritos down here. Yes. I would be okay with that if they're low A. Yes. We're gonna have to kind of when we get done with this, we're gonna have to look at it and adjust a couple of things because we have too many things in A. That's fine. But for now, well, I think what, and we can. Good. I'll even put them above the kettle chips. Um, you know what? I'm glad I'll we're protecting S though. We have like barely anything. It's six. S. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's good. And we only have a like D is the one that looks a little thin, but there's only a couple I might move down into it. We'll get to it. And again, we're not going to go through every one of these, but now we can mis- we can get a couple more quick ones. We haven't done any ruffles yet. We need to get Tostitos. What what the fuck is TGI Friday's potato skins? Uh, I don't know. There was one set that I saw that had like five of these. I guess they have a, a bunch of different like appetizer versions that are just potato skins and well, or good transition. If you would like this potato skin flavor, just get cheddar and sour cream ruffles there. Right. Which we'll need to get to because that's another potential S for me, but we'll, let's do the that's Tostitos where, first. Cause well, that's where Sean I think was going to be in the S then. Okay. Sean, which Tostitos would you like to tackle? We have scoops. We don't have regular Tostitos here. It's one I was going to add, but it's fine. We have scoops. We have the ones with a hint of lime. Oh, There's God. guacamole flavor, oh, God, which why? So bad. In fact, I'm just going to put those no, in F. They're so minute. bad. Wait. Okay. Okay. I've had guacamole chips before and there was like a guacamole powder, yes, and it was pretty good. Are those not it? No, those are not them. Then there, F is fine. There is a chip because the my hometown literally has a festival for avocados because that's all they grow there. Oh yeah, and you can get those type of chips. There's like it. It's like rather than a cheese powder, it's like a guacamole avocado powder. It's because you're are, a yuppie. Yes, sure. <laughs> okay, and those are really really good. Okay, those Tostitos are absolutely not. I think these have a hint of green because I think it's mixed into the corn. I believe that's flavor. correct. That's why I went and put them in the and bottom fucking, of that. They're fucking gross. Okay, I want to okay. see if I can. Because the fair. whole point of Tostitos is to dip them. Yes. So by taking out the dip process and replacing it with something horrible, you've yeah. just you, ruined Tostitos. If you want to also take the lime and put them on D since it's shallow, that's where those belong. Now I don't mind. I'll put them. Here's here. the thing, right? Who is going to eat Tostitos? Just plain. But most people are. Josh will, but he's a freak. Right. Most, most. I, I do occasionally. <laughs> Generally speaking. Well, I would prefer them to be dipped. If you're stuck with it, right? But like your preference would be you want to dip them in salsa. So because of that, I like the Tostitos, the purple bag. The, that's a pretty regular get to. The I, problem is they kind of like, because they're curved, they kind of like get up like in your teeth sometimes. Yeah, they can be weird to eat. I don't love that. But the scoops were a smart invention. Because it helps with the dip situation or salsa or whatever. Like, it's they're good. They're probably my favorite Tostitos. I do think Tostitos are among some of the worst tortilla chips. Or at yeah. the very least, not maybe worst, but there are much better options out there. None of which are on here. My Nana's yeah. not on here. What's this one? Uh, the, on the border, not on here. So, like, like is, uh, my Nana's, is that the white Missions guy? is on here, and Missions sucks. But, <laughs> let's, yeah, let's, I also don't like Missions. I would so. put Tostitos scoops in B. I don't think they reach the A tier, but I think they'd be high they to mid, a, mid to high B. They have a good use. Chris, I got to ask you. Like, this, I might have them, like, here. That, yeah, B. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Now, I have a question. Um, I feel uh, the best tortilla chip is the one that we like, but I don't think it's on here. I feel like you'd agree with me. I just can't think of the name. It's in the bag. And is it not these? It's those. Yeah. Those yeah. are on the border. I mentioned, though, but they're oh. not on here. Oh, God And I like it. the My Nana's, which... I had a bag up here, but I don't have any more. My Nana's is one of my favorites, but they're not here either. Fuck. The I was trying again. I tried to make my own list. It just was the, too time. Yeah. The Sati, whatever. No, the ones. Santitas. They, yeah, those. Those are those are better than any of the Tostitos are. Um, I would tend to agree. Mission. So they're a little salty, but they are better than all those. Well, Sean, I, I don't mind you, the salt in a tortilla chip. Those, I'm gonna put those it, are good. Yes. Those are good. Yes, they okay, are still, chips. They, they are actually still green. Show the people. But they are the ones that have the powder. Yeah, they're yeah. like powder, Guaca and chip. so it's good. Yes. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. They, so I was wrong in thinking that they weren't also green, but those are the those ones there. I also ate when I was younger, and they are pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm going to tentatively move Munchies down to high C. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> we'll look at this at the end, but I think that one needs to happen right away. The highest of C, but uh, I don't care for the, the spicy queso ones, and it's sort of similar to the guacamole problem for they're, me, because again, also really just not good. get a good cheese dip, and don't, don't I'll, I'll do it this way. I there. believe On the Border made something similar to this. They had some cheese flavor to them, and I thought got them thinking they would be good. Wrong. They were so much worse <laughs> Wrong. than the regular <laughs> On the Border ones. 
you really don't need to flavor most of those. It's a yeah, waste of fucking time. That's the thing with tortilla chips. I'm putting both missions in D because they're not awful, but they're the worst tortilla chips. Yeah. And we need some more things in D anyways. Um, we do need to talk about ruffles. We can't end the show without putting ruffles in the tier list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I like that. Um, we can look at a couple of those to make sure we haven't missed anything. Like, I actually don't mind the baked lays, but I think there's much better healthy chip alternatives than those. Ruffles? Those would be like C for me. But I do think the 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 plain baked lays. I I like those better than regular lays. I agree. Barely. I don't yeah. like how ruffles hit my teeth. Mm. There's something about the ruffliness. You're eating wrong. <laughs> I don't like how they hit the teeth. I think they're I think they're weird. Have you had the baked ones? Holy shit, so much good. So baked good. ruffles? Yes, mm-hmm. so good. No. Those are really good. I can let you try some. I think now, I have a bag downstairs. Baked ruffles has like a sour cream and onion though, right? Or, it's I'm, I'm cheddar, sorry, it's cheddar the, sour cream. They have sour cream and cheddar, cheddar. yeah. And that's pretty very, good. Very good combination. Yeah, they could be like B if you guys really like it. I just, B I just, for baked. I don't love. I'm doing it. I, again, also think the other. This is like almost the highest B for me. For baked, be. it probably should be. It could be a, but since Sean's not high on, I ruffles, think the, I think the regular ruffles of that flavor, or, or the regular type of ones, those ones right there, the cheddar, so that should also go up there. So Dave would have that S tier. Oh, I would probably have it S tier. Wow, Dave, good. I'm I watch. So I watched the menu that movie, and the uh, Ray Fines goes on like this big tangent about bread. And how it's like the every man's thing, and yes. it was the, the food pre- of the that, people. Yes, that pretentious ass movie. Yeah, yes, getting really up its own ass. That's how I feel about ruffles. That it's is too like, far it's up its like own ass. It's just like the every man's chip. Oh. It's just like whatever. It's around. Well, were you a lace person or a ruffles person growing lace. up? Lace, exactly. Lace. So when you got like, so when you had chips and dip, you made like ranch dip. You dipped shitty, regular, crumbling apart lays in those, not delicious original ruffles. Yes. Well, yeah, you fucked. Us. Yeah, that's the toughest part because I think ruffles are like the consummate dip chip. Yes, they are. That's what you dip in. Like, not uh, that others aren't good with it too, but like to me, if I think of chips and dip, yeah. not and obviously salsa is different, but like dip is ranch, ruffles. Ranch dip, French onion dip, French those onion dip, are French onion dip, and ruffles is like that's the, what you're supposed to do. The combo, but the problem is eating them on their own, they're fine. And the other problem is the best version of this is the simply ruffles because they're better for you and better tasting, but they're not here. And so regular ruffles have taken a step down for me because the other version, the better version, exists. If you haven't seen the Simply line, There's check so them many out. Different versions of this shit now. I so, All right, well, you guys take the lead on on. I'm gonna put ruffles. ruffles. I'm gonna put Zara because especially because you know Dave's yes. not here, so he doesn't really get to vote. But like, I'm gonna put this in S. And that's where I would. And want if I, I'd actually, you want it behind pizza? I would, I put, would it put it here. up higher, higher. Actually, I'd put it here because I don't care for the jalapeno. There you go. But that's I have correct. no problem with it being in S place since I don't love them. I'm gonna put this above them. That's where those belong. All right. Regular ruffles are a B or a C for me, though. Um, again, I think it's C just because it, they really are only useful because they deliver the dip that you've made. I'll put it in it. high C, but I think it's a C. I'm going to put them behind That's in B. those. Oh, fuck. I'm going to put them above munchies. <laughs> yeah, see? He, oh, he wants S for regular ruffles. Well, those weren't regular ruffles, Dave. Those were the sour yeah, cream and, and cheddar. All, aren't those it, your favorite? And it is as though you have no opinion. Oh, no, Dave. Wow. Yeah, now you don't matter. <laughs> okay, I tried, and it wasn't worth anything. Okay. Um, anything else from down here that desperately needs to be in the list? I have. I feel like barbecue lays, lays. Maybe Barbe- barbecue, barbecue lays are in B. They're already up there. Oh, what what's lays? What lays is that then? Oh, that's weird. the sweet Szechuan oh, something barbecue. We don't it's need the Szechuan whatever need bullshit. That. There's dill pickle lays, which Miss Vicky's being <laughs> is good, but I guess redundant to the point of the kettle chips. Yeah, I mean, we could put it up there. I I um, see where you're coming from. Like, I do like their regular ones, but I don't like these two flavors. Yes. I could see myself chips. liking. Um, uh, what was that you just said? The the oh dill the dill like I like dill, but I've I've not had those so let's let's which dill chip? What? This needs to be. He said dill pickle, my mind. some kind of lays or already. something. Yeah. Dave got to you that quickly. A little bit. C is too low for ruffles. If if ruffles are C, then a whole lot of things up here are too high. We'll get to that in a minute though. Okay. Um, I don't know. If there's anything I I know some people love takis. I I have, don't know. Though. I've had them a couple times and never really got the I... hype. I tried them. Uh, there was one flavor, but I honestly, they all blend together a little bit. There was one flavor. I think it's probably the green bag because I know it. I don't think it was the lime one. Um, that was pretty good, and I don't know what the difference between red and green is. And, and I think the Lay's kettle cooked are just some of the worst kettle chips on the market. They're not. That's not to say they're bad. I, they're fine, but isn't, again, isn't that the one that we get the salt and pepper in though? Yeah, but there's better salt and pepper, pepper ones, ones, including yeah. the kettle brand ones. But also, um, oh, flaming hot lays. You should put those in the kettle. Flaming hot. That should definitely go in. Oh, there's a flame. Oh, that's got to be. Let's see. It's better than Funyuns. We'll put it here. <laughs> 
Any flaming hot is going into F. We should have just made the F tier only for flaming. No, hots. because the Cheetos are good, and that was the only purpose. What the is flaming hot what needed. is this? Flamas. It's Spanish flaming Doritos. Do you, do you want me to get into what all three of those are? No, we don't have time for that. It's Doritos going overboard. What did I just say? <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna put wavy lays in D because they're like the worst lays. We can, there, there, that's we can, it. Just that. Knock off ruffles. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Stay in their fucking lane. Don't have fucking ridges. Like they just like if I'm, if I'm ever eating those, I just find myself wishing I had ruffles. Period. I already made my appeal to okay. hot fries. Yeah, I'm good. Let's look at our list. We have seven in S tier, and I think that's about right. We have both of the the most well known Doritos, Cool Ranch, Nacho Cheese. We have two kinds of Sun Chips. Uh, garden salsa, harvest cheddar, with the cheddar and sour cream ruffles, the jalapeno kettle chips, and pizza uh, Pringles. I, I don't think any of those need to move. Nor do I think anything else needs to be an S tier. Yeah. No. Again, the, those Doritos aren't my favorite, but I can acknowledge that you know they're basically. Yeah, I'm the B. same way. Like Cool Ranch is an A for me, so but I don't know about number one. They're but clearly the, the favorite. You guys like them. Superior chip. Yeah, and it was it was popular in chat too. So I think S tier is strong. A tier. I think something needs to. I think we need to drop a couple of things from A and a couple of things from B, and then we have a pretty good balanced list. So the question is, looking at A tier, what does not belong? I don't know that we need. What kind of sun chips are those? Those are the regular those sun are, chips. These are French, French onion. onion. I, I don't. Well, but I liked it less than you, so maybe that's not fair. I don't know that we need that one in in A tier. I think a Cheetos needs to drop. You so can you can drop with the regular fr- flaming hot the, the or flaming, with lime. The I would assume flaming hot, down. and it can be high B. That's fine. Yes. And we'll drop something out of B to make room as well. Um, you could, I would be you could okay pick, with this, but... You could pick what the best version of the sour cream and onion is and drop the other ones down of those three that are it in the It would probably there. be Pringles. That's, I would agree. I think it's probably Pringles. All right. So I we'll just move those like down. Steps. That'll give us a solid, uh, even across A tier. Okay. I like that. I like that A tier right. strong. All right. Now we got to get two or three out of B, and I think we're ready to just lock this in. So, once again, we have, like, a ton of things in here, including now four different kinds of Cheetos. <laughs> now, you can argue these are really the same thing. They're taking up two spots, but What's I can take one out. Cape Cod. What? You can drip. You can drip. Tell you what, I'll Kip just take Kip. out regular Cheetos because yeah. I think those are slightly better. Hold on. Get out. They're, they're just gone. You just got rid of Puffs and left Twisty Puffs? Yeah, they're the same thing. You can move Cape Cod down. I, I like that, actually. I think they're a very decent kettle chip. And um, no, I'm pretty. That's attached looking to re- good. Pretty that's looking to good to that. me. I don't. I mean, that's it. I mean, we did pull two again, out effectively. B is landed where Tocito scoops, which are good for bean dip and nacho cheese, and Ruffles, which is good for every other dip. Like those, basically, just exist for dipping. And if we're gonna go with both, those probably need to be in the same. Oh spot. well, this was. This you know we can take that. Nobody cares about these. I don't. Remember. Did you really care about salt and vinegar Pringles, Sean? Were those one of the ones you ate? Well, no, I've never had them. So okay, then they're gone because we thought they were sour cream and cheddar, and then all they did was disappoint us. Mm-hmm. I am a texturist. I realized that I used to think it was I kind of a picky eater, and I realized it was not because of flavor or stuff like that. It was texture. That's the stuff that hung me up as a kid. There was a zucchini pie that my mom made that I absolutely hated the texture of. It was like torture. Doesn't sound good. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't very good flavor wise either. But the flavor wasn't what put me off. It was this like, like should, goopy should, fucking should texture. Zucchini just be bread or zucchini and yeah. not pie. That's one of the things like Josh is in the chat right now. I want her to make that one of these times <laughs> for for you and your sister to experience the shit I had to put up with as a kid because y'all didn't get suffered through that. Okay, I like this list. I think yeah. I'm pretty content with this unless there's something you see on the bottom that needs to change. No, because but... even like C is all stuff. I mean, honestly, you could drop flaming hot Cheetos down. The puffs ones, because they're really just not that good. The more I look at this, like they they How are about they are there. Whoop. Yes, they're probably there. better than Mission Tortilla Chips. Yeah, that's probably where they should actually go. <laughs> don't did you do not want to take me up on this? It's not just because of the texture. It's one of the worst things I've ever eaten. I almost feel bad because Mom used to like making it, but she's taken that out of her repertoire. <laughs> As um, you trash it. I, I, I just, the, if I had to pick a food I hated, there was other stuff well, I didn't like as a kid, but ooh. The problem with that is like I'm making pie tonight. You're like, ooh, raspberry, apple. Yeah. No, zucchini. Oh, is it? So oh. it's not dessert. It's a main course. <laughs> that balances out C and D better. I think. And, and and I like having, just, like, just, there's a lot of. I think a lot of chips should be in B. You know, chips are good. They're also bad for you, so you know that going in. But like, this, this feels good to me. I know Dave would probably have the Fritos higher. Well, at least no the chili one cares cheese. About Dave, he's not here. But he should have been here. He shouldn't have gone to the work function. He should have got himself fired. This is how serious this is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she makes a chocolate eclair cake all the time. The that chocolate eclair cake delicious. is really good. 
I haven't ever bothered to learn it myself because it's almost too rich know. for me. But chocolate eclair or zucchini. I don't. I know. I, it's hard to tell which no. thing I'd rather. One of eat. these is a dessert, and one of these is an abomination. Okay. Now we well, don't need zucchini flavored chips. So I will sorry. once we get off air. I'll take a picture of this and save it. And we'll put it up on the YouTube page. You can look at it and give your comments on it as well. Of course, some people have been commenting along the way. And we use that to kind of settle a few of the borderline ones. But this is our list of chips. And there's a bunch down here. And a few, again, that weren't on the list. Um, we can, mentioned quite a few of them. But Can you just say that Lay's should not have made a ketchup-flavored chip? Because what the fuck? I just, well, they've become sort of like Oreo, where they're yes. now like... Uh, I don't know, lampooning themselves almost to where it's like some of these flavors are just stupid. But like, I would like they've made like like crab cake flavor or some weird shit like that. I think I've seen. I'm like, okay, cool. Like that's weird. Like ketchup's just. I don't think ketchup's very good in general. So I don't know why you need a chip flavor to it. Some people dip their chips in ketchup, though. Some people dip everything in ketchup. Right. So that's. I'm sure it's See, a I potato. Do that, but... I do that with like barbecue sauce now, but I don't know. Ketchup's just too. It's just too much. So that is the end of our tier list. We will go and watch the end of the Suns game. They're winning in the third quarter, but by six. It was by like 10 a minute ago. Um, but we didn't bore you with Suns talk because they're already down one game, and we'll get to that when, whenever the series is over, whether it's a win or a loss. So we'll talk about them again soon. We'll also have a regular episode again next week. And if you haven't checked out the YouTube channel, which I usually talk about in the outro, we're doing our top 25 Final Fantasy songs, and we're going to be recording our top 25 Zelda songs starting this weekend. Super excited about that. The videos are doing pretty well. So if you haven't checked those out yet, go take a look. Let us know what you think about the placement of certain songs and which ones you would vote for. But that's the end of this episode. In between shows, you can find us at our website, objectionnetwork.com or youtube.com slash objectionnetwork for new videos five to seven days a week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, bye.